The final challenge for me in managing remote teams is to take care of the welfare and the well-being of your team members. And it's particularly important because the more common option of a quiet chat is off the table. You can't do that when you are remote. And it's also much harder remotely to spot those subtle warning signs. So what can you do? I think that looking after people's welfare and well-being is the toughest part of leading a virtual team, especially when people start to feel themselves under pressure. And I don't have any easy answers because there aren't any. I do, however, have seven simple tips to help you. The first is to remain observant. Take every opportunity to look to see if you can spot any changes in behavior, in demeanor, in performance. Some of these will be insignificant, so don't jump on every tiny change. But as soon as you start to see a pattern, as soon as you start to be suspicious, it is possible that changes can be significant. Tip two is to monitor team morale as well. Look at the way that people interact with one another. Look out for the signs of fraying tempers or relationships breaking down. Third, constantly assess the load that you're placing on team members and the expectations you're putting on them. Are they reasonable? And are they having adverse effects on individuals? And fourth, take a real interest in every individual. Schedule regular one to one conversations. Make sure you allow plenty of time and make sure both you and they are in a position where you can talk confidentially if you need to. Start it in a light hearted manner, unless you've a reason not to, but be very sensitive to signals that you need to go a little bit deeper and change the tone of the conversation to a more serious one. Fifth, ask people to raise concerns. Obviously invite them to raise concerns about themselves with you, but also ask them confidentially to raise concerns they might have about their colleagues. Don't discuss those concerns beyond getting the facts. Don't make any commitments to them build up a picture that will allow you to intervene if and when you see it as appropriate. Sixth, keep well-being on the agenda for your regular team checkpoint meeting. In every meeting, just ask if everybody's OK, if everybody's got any concerns, if there's anything on the horizon that people think may affect the welfare of the team or concerns them that it's going to be a stressor that you need to be aware of. And if in doubt, act proactively to head off any stressful situations or concerns that you might have about well-being. Be generous in helping people out. Offer people time off. Make it easy for people to ask for help when they need it. Because any loss in productivity that you have by being proactive in inviting someone to leave work early or take a personal day, it's going to be a far less disruption than if stress becomes an issue. It can affect morale, it can affect performance, it can have long term impacts on the availability of team members. Plus, of course, if team members are aware that you have their welfare at the forefront of your mind and of your concerns, then they will trust you as a leader and they will work that much harder and more diligently for you. Contrast it with the opposite. If people really don't think that their welfare is of interest to you and that you're not prepared to go out of your way to relieve them of stress or to make life easy for them, then not only are they going to get more stressed, but they're going to feel they owe you less loyalty. I started this set of eight challenges of remote team working with trust because it is absolutely fundamental and is what everything else is built upon. And I've ended it with welfare and well-being because this is the capstone. It is the one thing that if it goes wrong, everything will fall apart. So make everybody's well-being your 
primary concern. Please do give a thumbs up if you value this video. There'll be loads more great management courses content, so please do subscribe to the channel. And of course, hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of it. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. And in the meantime, keep learning.